Hello everyone, this is the fourth lecture. Today we should replace some structural component by other sections. For example, as shown in the floor plans, in story range between story number one and five, we have those cross sections of columns. And for example, in story range between 15 to 19, we just have C1. However, in the ETAPS model we did already, because we replicate the elements from the bottom uh, moving upward, we have just re replicate some components that should be replaced by, by other sections. For example, if I click on the section property frame section and click on C2 and click modify, we can see that this section have the green color which is extended from the bottom to the upper story which is not correct we should replace it hence I will first put the plan view on story number one and let's check if we did something wrong or if we need to replace any section by other one as shown here between this figure and this figure they are both just the same Okay, for story number 6 to 14, oops, sorry, we need to replace these two columns here, here, and this one, and this one, by C1. Of course, let me show you this table. From story number 6 to 8, we have just C1 and C2. However, from 9 to the, the last story or the upper story, we just have C1. Then let's do it. What we, need, what we need to do is first, maybe let's select the columns from select object type. Click columns select and I will put the 3d view as shown we or we already now select all the columns in the model right click on the screen and the click show selected objects only okay let me show you here this option. There is here some option is like one story. If we if we click it, we have other option all the story and similar story. I will show you if we click the all the story and by clicking this one as shown here at the left corner, we have 34 frames selected. If we put the 3D view, we can see it more clearly. However, let's click escape and return to the one story option. And if we click this one, then it's, it, it's just one column is selected. Okay. Let me return to all the story option and I will select. those columns I will put the 3d view I will go to select however I will deselect now the stories okay as shown in this table all columns between story number 9 and 34 have section C1 then I, I will deselect the stories from 1 to 8 and I will go to assign frame section section of property and I will click C1 and click apply as shown the colors now change and I'll put the plan view layout on story number six I will
Okay, I will I will return this to one story. I will start selecting these two columns and this one, this one, and this one. We are now at story number six. I will move up one story. I will select again the same sections. I will move one up and again. And I will go to assign frame section property and I will click apply. Now at story number nine, we should replace all sections by C1 I as mentioned before. I will click again or I choose again the all stories option. I will select this one. I'll put the 3D view. I will go to the select stories. Okay, and save. Okay, I will return this to one story. I will put the plan view at story number five. And let's check it one more time again to make sure that we have did everything correct. Okay, this is right. Yes, right, but as I mentioned before, C2 is just between story number 6 and 8, as shown in this table. Then, this is the story number 7, 8, 9. Okay, now from 9 to 14. All sections are C1, but however they have this floor plan layout. Let me go directly to 16, sorry 14. And 15, yes right. Let me click 19 now. Move up one. Yes. And the last is 40, 34. And we did everything correct. Save. Now, what we need to do is to do the same thing for walls. I will go and select the walls from object type, walls right click and show selected objects only I will go to define wall section click in modify I'm showing you that now we have assigned to the wall section just one section called wall 50 which has 50 centimeter as a thickness However, in this table, as shown here, all walls ranging in the story 1 to 5 have wall thickness of 0 0.5. Between 6 and 19, they have a 0 0.45 centimeter, uh, sorry, meter. And between story number 20 to 34, they have a wall thickness of 0 0.4. Hence, let's do it in the same way we did it for the columns. I will select again all the walls I will deselect the first five stories and I will deselect also stories 20 to 34 and I will go to assign however now we should choose shell wall section and choose wall 45 and click apply okay 
lastly just do the same again deselect stories from 19 to the first story go to assign shell wall section and choose wall 40 and apply show and deform shape again right click on the screen click show all object okay and that's all for this lecture and let's continue the next video